What's up, it's Spencer. And this week while I was watching YouTube, I watched Peter McKinnon's gift guide because, well, I just wanted to see cool shit. But while I was watching, I was thinking, dang, Peter's videos lately have been great. And that's because his editor, Kirk, is on a totally different level. Here's what got me in the video. This text right here. It just worked perfectly for the style of video that they were pulling off. So naturally, while I was watching it, I thought, man, I have to take a shot at it in After Effects. So I tried to create something similar and I actually liked the outcome. So I figured I would make a motion graphic template out of it and share it with you guys. And hey, Kirk, if you're watching this, uh, maybe this can help you speed up your editing workflow. And if you're not Kirk, uh, you still can totally download it for free in the description below. So let's just hop into Premiere. Okay, so I have Premiere opened up and I've just typed in PM in the essential graphics and drags it onto my timeline and this is what you'll get. And of course, um, I try to make most of them be able to time remap so you can just drag it however long you need. And pretty basic controls, um, you know, scale, position. This one has um, an angle adjustment so you can kind of tweak that as you want. Um, let's just put it for zero for now and then yeah, alignment and we will switch the color to white really quick because just to show you that you can turn off the box and uh, then you'll just have something like this and then you have a bunch of box controls as well in here um, let's say you want this to be red and you can adjust the individual sides or spacing of the actual box and of course it auto resizes so you can type whatever you want in there so let's uh make what we saw in peter's video okay i think that looks pretty similar um i'm just going to add a drop shadow okay so this is what I came up with. I think it looks pretty similar. And again, you can obviously retime this because this is kind of fast. And really quick, why I um, individually change their position instead of just nesting them, because that would be way faster, is because you'll run into a problem, which sucks, but I don't really know how else to avoid it. Let's see, when it's scaled up like this, if you drag, see the bottom here? It's because it, in that nested comp, it's not gonna, anything outside of these bounds, you're, you're just not gonna get. So when you move it around, um, they're no longer there. So yeah, just kind of be wary of that when you're using this. But yeah, it was a fun one. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy it. That's it for this video. Thanks for sticking around. And if you edit in Premiere, maybe consider subscribing because that's what this channel is all about. All right, peace.